hello and welcome to something different this is a custom cube by one of my local friends that we're drafting online because it's not really too safe to be drafting in person so we're drafting our, our weekly cube online and you get to see uh all this fun stuff um this is pack one pick one and here we go so immediately there is power in this cube there is no power in this pack as you can see um for that reason i think this is a pretty weak pack i think the best cards are like urza saga reanimate is amazing for the reanimate deck the rest of these cards are pretty replaceable. I think it's an easy Saga for me. Maybe I can wheel the top. Top is pretty good with Saga. Uh, Tutor generally goes pretty well in Saga decks too. We're gonna... I'm gonna cheat a little bit. It's not really cheating, but... Oh god, I got like four seconds. Right, select Saga. Okay. Next pack. Oh, a Caracas. I almost never get to take that card in this cube. Okay. Uh, looks like that might be the pick. So some really strong cards that are not replaceable here is like Great Hope Behemoth and Deluge maybe. But now that there's power in the cube, I'm a lot less interested in the Deluge. Uh, I think I'm just going to take the Caracas. I don't really think of it as a white card. It's just a very good card for almost any deck. And there's some pretty cool combos with it too. And it just randomly hoses people, other people's legendary creatures. It gets better with your own and randomly hoses theirs. And it doesn't even take a spell slot. It's just great. Um, so pretty good non-power card to take here. Um, fairly happy. It's not really anything here. It goes with Saga. There's some more reanimator stuff. Passing... A lot of it, but uh, I'm okay with that. Take the saga. Oh god. Ooh, Urza. Never get to play with that card. Urza is pretty good with Urza's saga, I heard. Um, Good with Caracas, too. Yeah, I think Urza is going to be the pick here. Holy crap. Uh, Counterspell is pretty good. Horror, I think, is a lot for Q. Costs a lot for this type of cube. There's Bell Pierce, some other random stuff, but the only thing here that's, like, not replaceable whatsoever is going to be that there's a... So we're gonna... I'm scared to double-click it, honestly. Okay. Cool. Next, we have this pack. Um, hmm. Not super interested in this what this pack has to offer. There's like a Chandra, Brazen Borrower, Uro. Uro's pretty cute with Caracas. I've never had that synergy before. So it could be some kind of like Bant artifact deck. I don't know how much I like that. It's also a Copter, Revoker. Hmm. I think the best cards here are definitely Chandra. Could take Ral's Eric. And it could combo with Time Vault if we get that. But it's just do stupid stuff. Uro Karaki seems like a fun thing to do. So let's try that. Ooh, Archon Cruelty. Like the best reanimate spell. Also a literal splinter twin here. But uh there's a shell duck isle, pick five, which is nuts. Um I think the people that I draft this cube with don't I don't know what's going on with my white balance right now, but I kinda hate it. Um so I can fix fix it. Uh, it's a little bit better. All the black on me is getting fuzzed out. Uh, we're just definitely just gonna take Sheldock Isle here. Sheldock's like way too good. If Sheldock wasn't here, I'd probably speculate on the twin. 
Um, but since I don't have any red cards or red fixing, I'm not terribly interested in it. I'm just going to slam shell dock here. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. More reanimator stuff in this pack. So randomly a Vorinclex, which doesn't combo with anything here except for Crocus, kind of. There is a blue white land, which we might want. We probably will want if we're gonna. I mean, we're not locked into playing white. We could just play Caracas. So we could be like blue green or the. Take Arbor Elf here. But if I'm playing like blue green ramp, I think I'd rather just have a Sphinx. I don't know. Uh, I think the only color that I'm guaranteed to play right now is blue, and I'll play Caracas pretty much no matter what other colors I end up in. This does this Arbor Elf doesn't really interest me unless I'm a heavy uh, green deck anyway. Yeah, I'll just take that. Okay, well that was a green blue land. There's an Ice Hide Golem, and uh, well, Golem is something we can get with Saga, which is kind of funny. Uh, there's also a Waterlog Glove Grove and a Fabled Passage. Passage is pretty good with Uro. Um, Waterlog Grove just kind of fixes our mana, but I'm not sure how we want to be fixing our mana right now. Uh, this is pick seven. I think I'm just going to take Fabled Passage. We'll play this in, like, no matter what build. Fiddlebender could be interesting, though. That's good with Caracas. Okay. All right. Little Bender Urza Caracas. Seems like we're kind of doing something. Okay, well, now there's Kiki Jiki. And that Splinter Twin was very late. Well, Caracas protects Kiki Jiki. <laughs> uh, this isn't a good deck for Oath. Uh, if I'm playing a green ramp deck, maybe I want the Kura Tribe Elder. I'm just going to take this speculative Kiki Jiki. We're not really, we haven't really seen any good red cards. We haven't seen amazing blue cards either. Okay, so this is our opening pack. Now there's, oh man, Karakas Ulamog? That's hilarious. Um, but... I don't think that's what we want to be doing. Could play this Lear. We have we have nothing that it combos with yet. Um, but it is pretty good with Caracas. Or I could take Ulamog. Go like super strong ramp. Like Shellac Isle Ulamog is pretty sick too. Um... Yeah, since I have no instants and sorceries yet, maybe I'll just take the Woolamog. So, one thing I'm noticing is we're not really seeing... Yeah, we're not really seeing artifacts. Um, so that's going to make Fizzlebender and Urza a lot worse. We have nothing to get with our Saga yet. We didn't even wheel that top. No, we didn't. So... Now I have this Ulamog. Could just play a blue green ramp deck. Like Urza is gonna be okay in ramp anyway. Uh and if Crater Hope Behemoth is wheeling, that means green has to be open, right? And okay, yeah. There's a Atlanta where else. Let's map that up. Uh yeah, I don't care about any of this stuff. I'll take a copter. Okay. Uh, Bone Crusher Giant, sure. Vornclex. Doesn't combo with anything, but it's kind of a big green threat. Shield Breaker. Okay. Where's my deck? Okay. So, I think we're just some kind of like green deck. We want to find something like, we want to find Channel would be amazing. We want to find stuff that works with Saga. 
and ramp. Ooh, or fast fast bond though. Mind twist is a hierarch. What hills? Stage chase. Or we have that works well with fast bond. Uh, don't have that much that works with fast bond, but we do want to be ramping. There is a pester might here for our kiki cheeky, but. GG's only. I don't think there's any reason for us to be red. I think we just want to be some kind of green ramp deck. I'm not going to wheel the fast bond, but I might wheel. Probably won't wheel the foot hills either. But I'll probably wheel this noble hierarch. Or maybe this Nissa, and I'll be, I'll be pretty happy with that. Okay, we're just going to slam fast bond then. There's not. I mean, there's a ballista that I can put in my graveyard with Saga, but not really any synergy. Okay, fast bond it is. Nissa that shakes the world though. Cloud boast though. Ah, uh, Utopia sprawl. Once upon a time. Once upon a time is pretty broken. Also scalding tarn. So we might not even play any of these blue cards. Any of these cards combo with fast bond? Sure don't. Um, I might take Once Upon a Time. Cloud Post might be okay. It might look really weird, but in this cube, you get four Cloud Posts. Um, you draft one. So I think I'm going to take the Once Upon a Time and try to wheel the Nissa here. Maybe the Sprawl. I think that's the plan. Ooh, okay, green soldering. We still haven't seen any power yet, which makes me a little bit scared, but we get a green soldering here. There's a crop rotation, which could be kind of fancy with Caracas. Um, and not much else that we would want. We'd play Probe. We'd play Oath. Might play Exploration, depending on how much land synergy we get. Um, I'm just going to slam this tree speaker. Tropical island, though. Yep, and there's a Deceiver Exarch. Okay, and a Wild Growth. Well, Tropical Island is a pretty good card. And it means that we can play Uro at least. If not, maybe Urza, maybe Consecrated Sphinx in our green deck. All right. Uh, there's also a Venser. Venser wheel. Probably not. I'm just going to take the Tropical Island. It's too, too valuable. Augur Bottom. I like that card. All right, so we're a little bit low on uh, interaction. Our Urza Saga that we first picked is looking awful. Uh, our Oswald looking awful. We just don't have artifacts. Um, we have green stuff. Ooh, Augur, Augur combos with Fossbond. That's sweet. Now the Reliquary. We'll take it if it wheels, maybe. Now there's Escape Chef. Ooh, Opposition. Ooh. Ah, fuck. Okay. All right, well, that's a Repellos. Also, we're not really geared up I mean, these colors are usually pretty good for opposition, but this is not a good opposition deck. But this is a good Rafellos deck. For sure. The Pinter show in here, too. And Escape Shift. Well, we know Mono Green's open. I guess we'll just take that. Uh, Reclaimer, Fauna Shaman, Tamyo. Armageddon. Uh, I think it's gonna be a Fauna Shaman. We don't really have combos with it. Um, but we can discard Mana Dorks when we need fatties or vice versa. Cameo. Cameo. Oh, Mana Shaman. Elvish Reclaimer, though, is kind of interesting. We have Caracas. Saga's probably not, still not gonna be good. Uh, 
Shell dock. That's just not very strong. Okay, okay. What? The fuck, guys? I don't really have anything I can copy with Loot Tree. Copy one spot at a time. Loot Tree is just a busted card. Like, every deck can play Loot Tree. Should I just take it? Or should I take the Theranic Tusk? Worldly Tutor is like... Mm, not that exciting, but kind of exciting with Rafelos and Fatties. But Lutri is just kind of like free. Also, really bad in Mono Green. I'm going to take a Worldly Tutor just for. And then I'll take Nessa, I think. This means they doesn't do anything for us, right? No. Pestermite is coming around. So even like the person who took the the uh, interruption doesn't want it. We have the Kiki. Okay, there's a sprawl. Cloud Post did come back. So if we wanted to do that, that would be the reason not to play Loot Tree, but. We don't have enough big color of threats to play Cloud Post, so I'm just gonna slam the Sprawl. Crop Rotation. It's, it'd be a lot better if we find a Cradle. Um, it's still okay with Crocus though, maybe. Or Shell Back Chopsel. Alright. Um, hello again, Deceiver Exarch. Uh, this is not going to be a good Grafted Warrior deck. Alright. Let's just make sure we don't lose to Twin, I guess. Okay, there's a Knight. Knight could be playable in these colors. Escape Shift, if we get Field of Ruin or Field of Dead, we could play that. We get the Tamiyo back, because that's free. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, what do we got now? Ugh! Fuck, still no power here. Oh, this pack sucks. There's like an Emrakul in case we get Channel. There's a Terracidon. Don't want to play Mutavolt or Star. This pack is just garbage for us. I'm not going to have enough big mana to actually cast Emrakul. There is an Echo of Eons, which is interesting with Fast Bond. But also not that interesting. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna take this Emerald. God, this I hate this pack. This pack makes me very, very sad. Alright. Someone pass me power, please. There's a Titania. Crappiness, uh, a tracker, Luris, we cannot, there's no way we can compare to Luris. I don't even know why I looked. Um, is Stanya good here? Not really sending any lands to the graveyard. Got a crop rotation for that. Maybe a smuggler's copter. Deathrite Shaman is interesting. For Kind of the same reasons, but not really. This pack also makes me sad. I think I'm just gonna take the death right. Although there is memory jar. Uh, memory jar with consecrated things is pretty funny. Uh, it's also like a colorless draw seven for fast bond shenanigans. But it probably wheels. Do I want a tracker? Maybe I want a tracker. Um. I don't know. I'll take tracker, I guess. Okay. Wow. Lots of packs that are just making me sad now. Uh. Well, there's a, like a battle sphere. Um. There's a Snapcaster Mage that can't cast anything, except for 
worldly tutor once upon a time in crab rotation. Well, that's awful. Hmm. I feel like I'm getting cut off with mono green stuff now. Uh, Battle Sphere is not a bad finisher. It's very good with Crater Hoof. Um, I guess I don't mind another fatty, but this pack feels like a blank. I could splash a Tarka, maybe, but I don't want to. Okay, so now there's... Why is Vengevine still in this cube? I'd like to know that. Um, there's a questing beast, which is like kind of funny with Caracas. There's another five mana planeswalker. There's a visionary, which is like medium sauce. Um, don't have that many ways to ramp into a visionary, but it is okay. Guess I don't mind another five mana planeswalker. Can Vivian do combos? Okay, Vivian can get. Like Battle Spear when I'm casting Hoof. That's kind of funny. Um, maybe I do that. Okay. Sure. I guess. Tatiova. Okay, that's... Now that's a combo. Tatiova is a combo with that bond. And I think that is what I want. There's also a Hydroid Crisis. There's a Siogmas will make me real sad. Uh, cause I like, love this card, but I never get to play with it. And then into the north, I don't care about. All right, yeah, I think it's Tatu over here. Ooh, and a cobra. Oh, and the field. Oh man. Oh man. Cobra's like just too good with fast bond, right? Like we don't even have that many non-basics, so field that's like not even that good. Yeah, we're just take, we're just slamming cobra then. Oh, and upheaval? Ho ho! Okay. Yeah, we can we can do big mana upheaval shenanigans. Upheaval fast bond is broken. I wish I had more blue green sources. More fetch lands to get this tropical island and stuff. Yeah, this can take that up cool though. Okay, okay. Uh there's crappy Greg, Gris, Bomb. Expedition map. Map could make Urza Saga still not that good. I could take a Foundation Breaker for the sideboard. Thalm is not really the kind of ramp that I want. I don't think. I don't want to splash Grist. Chart, of course, is not the kind of hard draw I want. Garrick is not the kind of planeswalker I want. Not just like a breaker for the sideboard, I guess. Okay, there's a Terracidon. It's also Agent of Treachery. Um, Terracidon is pretty good. Just another big, good, big fatty to ramp into. Um, or shell dock into. Either that or Agent Treachery. Agent Treachery is too too much blue and we have like no synergy with it, so I'll take Terracidon, I guess. There is memory jar. We still want that. Um I think memory jar is still pretty good. We don't have any still don't have any like lands that go to the graveyard for shaman. Nissa is like small potatoes. Sure, I'll take the jar. I don't know if I want to play it though. What a revelation. <laughs> Scripts. Okay, nobody wants to be. Nobody wants to be Splinter Twin. I get it. I get it. Um, take this revelation and then probably not play it. There's a questing beast here, which could be decent in the right matchup, I guess. Well, get out of your sulfuric vortex against that card all right okay well i'm going to look and see if we want to be mono green or if we want to like splash the upheaval let's get mono we didn't get channel so i'm not going to play emerald cool 
I'll probably still play Ulamog though. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I will still splash Tatiova. Uh, I don't think I want to play crop rotation just for Caracas and Sheldock. That seems kind of. It seems really iffy. This is going to be a pretty fair green deck. That makes me a little sad. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. So then the best fast bond deck. We got to. Okay, I'm gonna. Hello and welcome to the first game of playing with my local cube buddies. Uh, I am. Um, this is our deck. Uh, you probably can't read any of it, and that's fine. Um, we're playing a a heavy green deck. Oh, why can? Oh, that's my sideboard. Okay, I thought I could see his deck for a second. Um, playing a heavy green deck, and we, um, I guess my friend Dan here. So, we're also playing blue for some really powerful blue cards, so let's just go ready to start. So, oh boy, you, that you interface, control I. yeah, control I will let you uh, roll a dice. Yeah, yeah. I'm not beating your 13 with a 2. Yeah, uh, control M to uh, set a mulligan hand size. Okay. Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll keep this hand. I will keep my hand also. All right. Uh, I will start with a prismatic vista and move to my end step. Uh, I really like the, the way that the steps work uh, in this uh, program, where if you double click your untap step, it'll untap all your stuff. If you double click draw step, it will draw you a card. Oh, if you, if you click in anything, it doesn't do it on the first thing. Once you click, once you're in that phase, it'll keep doing it. So technically, if you click mm -hmm. three times and draw a step, it'll draw two cards. Just like Magic Workstation. Yeah. Okay, so I have to click pass to go to my turn now? Uh, I like to leave it on the end step so the opponent can always do things on their turn before they untap. Okay. Uh, it's a bit of a formality. Uh, not everyone, a lot of players will just say pass turn by clicking the button, but like technically in magic, you can't pass the turn without giving your opponent priority in the end step. So I like the, I like the physical, like seeing of it. All right. All right. Let's do some stuff here. Ready for this? I don't think you're ready I for don't this. Think so. Forest. Fast spot on the stack. Uh, in response, I will sacrifice Prismatic Vista. Wait, do I pay life? Yeah, I pay life. And then I take this swamp that I put on the battlefield, tap, and then I pass priority. Wait, why is it tap? Does Vista not Fable Passage? What I meant to say was <laughs> it stays untapped. <laughs> but I can tap it in response if I want. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I don't have I'm assuming this means deck. that my fast bond resolves. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. I'm going to use fast bond's ability. Ow. Ow. And then I'm going to cast this for fellows. Oh dear. <laughs> And then I'll end the turn. Got it. <laughs> Good. Well, I will untap, upkeep, draw, main. 
cool. Well, how they have the Infinity Basics on Cockatrice. Yeah, no, not everyone has them uh, if they haven't updated recently, but I really like seeing them. They have Infinity Shocks as well. Ooh. Okay, uh, let's see what else you're working with. We're going to play... Balky, Gout of Lice. Okay. So you can right -click I'm going to reveal my hand. Uh, I will exile Craterhoof Behemoth. <laughs> yeah, it seems, seems like the thing to do. Do you want me to put it under Valky or just move it to exile? Um, we'll put it under Valky for now, because... I can currently uh, make a copy of him, or become a copy of him. Uh, For eight I... whole mana, you can make him yeah, five yeah, five. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we will attach you. Okay. Out. Yes. And uh, that is me moving to end step. Great. Oh fuck! I think I, I think I clicked past too many times. You can just quick pass again. Okay. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna draw. Should have untapped. It double click the untap step, it'll it'll do it auto for you. But you can also manually do it. Hmm. I'm going to tap for fellows for three green. Cast this this a vital force. Oh yeah. You knew this was coming. I know. <laughs> That's not making any less painful though. Okay, uh Ooh, I, don't oh ever, God, I don't think I've ever played one of these programs with Planeswalkers before. Oh, God. Um, oh, so right-click on it, and then uh, set counters, pick a color. I usually do green. Okay, we're going to set six. And untap this forest. Right-click. You can say set uh, power and toughness, or power and toughness. And then set power and toughness. Control P apparently works if you just want to quickly do it. Oh gosh. Um... It is a 5-5. Five five. Yes, it is. I will play a forest. And I will play the smuggler's copter. Uh, smuggles. And then I will end. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw, main. I'm just gonna leave that here for now. Yeah. Not a creature. I will play throwing wildwood and. Whoa, my uh, goodness! Throwing wildwood was not on my list of cards I might see after Mountain Swamp Valky opener, but okay. You're passing. Yeah, this this deck is. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna say it's my most proud deck. <laughs> I've, I've, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> White and green are both my off colors, and I had a, I had a land for them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. My forest is not actually currently a five-five, but it might be. I'm going to start by casting once upon a time. 
a pass priority. Okay. Oh fuck. Um view top cards of library five. Yeah. You can drag from that stack out. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't really help me. I just take this. I just want to take this. A better finisher. Hmm. Oh no! I was thinking I was supposed to put those cards on. Some of them on the bottom. They're still on the top of my deck, I think. You top four? Hey, look, there they are. Okay, you go. This is random order? Yeah, you should be able to have a, a box over all of them and do. Yeah, do once upon a time yeah. is random order. Okay. So select them all, move to bottom in random order. Okay, well the last one didn't actually select, but when there you go, that one could go to the bottom. All right, uh, I'm gonna, Jesus, uh, my graveyard. All right, but once upon a time in my graveyard, it has now resolved. Tap or fellows for Wait, question. Four. What's the card that you put in your hand? Oh, I have to reveal that, don't I? It's a it's a tireless tracker. I'm gonna play it. Sure. All right, play a tireless tracker with one green mana floating. Pass priority. Uh, add counter to Nissa. Oh God! Why did I tap Nissa? Untap Nissa. <laughs> Reason to tap Nissa. I'm just gonna untap one of these forests because I have the same number of forests, and one's a five-five. Okay. I see it. Okay. And I'm going to crew. Oh, God, this is stop tapping. Okay, I'm like selecting this out too much. All right, crew copter. Whoa, I guess that works. Go to combat. I got that. Uh, back with copter. I declare no blocks and we'll take. Oof. I'm gonna choose to loot, which means I'm gonna mill one. Is there's there's no mill. So sad. You can click and drag from the top of your library to where. Okay, well, it's Utopia Sprawl. And it's in the graveyard now. Oh, shit. Yeah, 
God. I need to stop selecting so much shit. Okay. It just When you're done, click in the gray box underneath your exile zone, and it will reset whatever you clicked on. It's a, it's a safe zone that I found. Because like, like sometimes I'll, I'll like try to click somewhere like you're looking at your deck and you click in play and it moves from the deck to the play and you're like, no, don't. But the, the gray zone, okay. I've found to be safe. Cool. I end. All right, pass priority in your end step. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Main. Yes, sir. And we got there, but at what price? What price? Uh, Godless Shrine. Shocked into play. Ooh, spicy. It's about to get a little spicier. You wiping Damn. my board. Damn, that's annoying. Overloaded. Yep. Okay. Uh, but before that happens, oh wait, no, never mind. You, no, no, they're triggers. On attach crater hook. Give me my crater hook back, also. bitch. Oh, he's he's exiled though. You're, you're not getting him back. No, he goes back to my hand. Uh, when Valky until Valky leaves the battlefield. Never mind. <laughs> All right, get that dam out of here. All right, dam resolves. Yeah, dam resolved. Good thing I keep this Nissa. No, not good thing. Very scary thing. <laughs> good thing for I me though. Move to end step. Terrified. Awesome. <laughs> hmm. Like normally, I have a really good sense of what I want to draft in this cube. And today, at, at one point, I was like, oh, let's get big stuff. I said in pack two, after seeing a bunch of big stuff pass in pack one, I was like, well, people have probably taken them. Now they don't need any more. And uh, I did not find much big stuff today. That's unfortunate for you. Yeah, I had at least <laughs> at least one like spell that I'm, I'm pretty sure will win the game if I cast it. But uh, I don't have as many ways to win as consistently as my decks normally do. Hmm. Oh, uh, why is it so hard to make a 5-5? Five, five? I attack you. No. I loot. I'm going to take three <laughs> damage. Fucking God. I'm gonna discard this crater hope for you, man. And then I end. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Main. The dam was pretty good, but we'll see if it was good enough. Yeah. Um. You were just like solidly four fucking colors. It, it, well, yeah, I have a. <laughs> hey, look, I, I'm not. I haven't even missed the, the ability to cast a card this game. That feels pretty good. Wow. Well, okay, we're doing it all. Mana crit. 
Goblin Ravel Master. One, two, three. Activate Stirring Wildwood. Move to combat. Uh huh. Or at Nissa. Okay. We will move to end step. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I'll play Forest. I'm gonna use Nissa to basically give me one more mana here. I'll play Vivian. Always reveal top card is not what I want because I don't. You don't get to see it. But I want to just review top one. Yeah. Okay, review top one. Okay. Uh, she's so gonna stat up your Vivian with her counters. Yeah, she's gonna go to. Four counters, and she's going to make free token. Beast three three. No, not that one though. Uh, Did you right click on Vivian? She should have all the options. Oh shit. This is better than Magic Workstation. Yeah. Except I have to still give the beast abilities myself, I think. Yeah. Going to give it vigilance. How do I do that? Just, I would do right click uh, set annotation and write the word vigilant. Okay. I end. All right. Time to flip some coins, Dan. Flip uh, those coins. Untap, upkeep, mana vault trigger. Uh, we'll say tails, I take three damage. Well, I landed heads. I don't take any damage. Draw main. Okay. Wait, you said you said tails that take no damage, but you flipped heads. No, oh, tails I do take damage. Oh. I said tails I take damage. I thought you said take no damage. Okay. And you can play back the audio and you'll find out. I'm not going to do that. Well, I mean, eventually you'll hear it. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I'm in my main phase. I'm going to watch it on YouTube later and be like, wow, I'm a cheater. 
it, listen, I, it's certainly a possible outcome. I just, it's not one I currently think of as likely. I'm just messing with you. All right. Uh, this is, this is, this is stuff, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. We're going to make a uh, stirring wildwood a creature until end of turn. Uh huh, uh huh. We're going to move to combat, sure. make another goblin. And we will attack with all of my creatures. We're going to trigger on Gobbler Rabble Master. He gets plus one, plus one for each other attacking goblin. So he'll get a total yes. of uh, plus two, plus two, making him a four, four. Uh, and then we'll put... Where are you attacking? Uh, the Rabble Master at Vivian. And... The rest of the creatures at Nyssa. Interesting choice. I only get to save one planeswalker. God, he gets to keep the rabble master. All right, um, before blockers. You move me to clear blockers, but I'm just I'm yeah, gonna you can, you can... I'm gonna crew the copter before I go to blockers. Yeah, I've caught myself in arena a few times where in paper I would be like move to combat. I make this a creature and in arena. No, it reminds me that's not the case. You don't get to do it then. Okay, I'm going to lock the copter on one of the goblin tokens. All right. So Vivian is going to die. Oh, God. This is going to go to one. And one I get, gobbo. I get the loot. Because you blocked it, correct? Uh, I don't know what happened to the... I'm confused. By what? So I knew the top card of my library because of Vivian. Yeah. But when I looted, I did not draw that card. Well, let's take a look at what happens in the uh, string of events from the the game. I can just see what you did. Uh, so you looked at the top part of your library, uh, and then we have you moved the bottom spectator. part of your library to your hand. That was the interesting. bottom part of my library? It says all fun, mover, all fun lover moves the bottom card of their library to their hand. All I did you is did... double click on my deck. Well, uh, it gave you the bottom card of your library. That's what I'm telling you. So, Why? I, I, it's odd. I don't know how it. How you? How you maybe double clicking does that. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna put this card back on the bottom. That makes sense. This is actually the bottom card because of the once upon a time. Yeah, I'm shuffled. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna play. Well, I'm glad that now that we've done it, draw a card. No, no information was revealed to you, and I'm glad I could figure out what happened. Okay. I love logs. We figured oh, it out. Logs. I have the card that was on top before. I still get to see the top card, but that doesn't. I don't think that matters. Oh God, get out of here. Get out of here, Uro. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Puts it into play from the bottom of their library. Why are you... <laughs> How does this keep happening? I'm, I'm oh, embarrassed. Jesus. Uh, character has just crashed, I think. Oh, no. Well, I have technically... Um, I'm keeping the game open, so you can join back in if, if you get connection. Okay, well, let's reconnect. Hey, I'm back. Okay. Welcome back. Uro, move to bottom of library. Please stay there this time. I don't know how you're grabbing it without having a box open that, like, looks at the bottom of the library. I it's impressive, know. really. <laughs> Are you done? Uh, yeah, no, I was just... I uh, have no idea why you, you were trying to... Okay, so you drew a card because of... Uh, Smuggler's Are you going to now loot the card that... Are you going to discard? I discarded a trash on. Ah, okay, got it. Yes. Did you discard that before you... No, 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 I see you just now discarded it. Yeah. Technically, before you drew a card, you discarded it. Well, that's because I I drew it when I drew the bottom. <laughs> Discarded after I drew the bottom card. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'll move down step. Yes. That is a interesting card to draw. Hmm. Yeah, I probably just play this. Play island. No, I don't think I'd play that if I were you. You know, you've given away the other color of your deck. Unless you're four colors like me. I think I gave that away when I kept accidentally finding Uro. What? I didn't know you have an Uro in your deck. <laughs> yes, Did I not actually. Be spectating? You can do whatever you want. I technically allow spectators to see both of our hands. I'm gonna play this consecrated Sphinx. I am not going to like it. <laughs> That's fair. Noted. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to attack you with my Vigilance Beast for three. I am going to take three damage, and my life total has been reduced to eight. Great. I pass. Oops. Well, I your end step. Didn't mean to click that. I pass priority. Okay. Upkeep. Oh, and my upkeep... Are you going to draw Let's a card? Flip a coin. I'm going to say, I, I technically drew a card, but in my upkeep, uh, I'm going to okay. flip a coin. I'm going to draw two I'm cards. I'm going to say, uh, two causes me to take damage. It landed on heads. I do not take damage. You said two causes you to take damage. Does someone doubt that I declared the correct thing there? It's on. I said two causes me to take damage, and then I rolled a one. Yes, but you said you said you you rule the hands. I see you, robot Joe. <laughs> so okay, so I drew one card, you oh. drew two cards. That's not fun. Fun for me. I see. Um, 
<sighs> what is this, a Yu-Gi-Oh card? Alright. No, it's a Magic so... Gathering card called Consecrated Sphinx. I know, but it feels like an effect that would be in Yu-Gi-Oh. Due to how absurd it is. I will pay... Hey, AJ, are you done? Yeah, uh, um, I won. Alright, um, I will you make a new, uh, new game. Four. Okay. Yep. Uh, I lost, so we can play DC. I will cast um, good. Cast in Flames. Ooh, there's a lot of talking making it. Thanks, guys. I will then... Uh, wait. Oh, no! That's not what I wanted to do. That does not do what you want it to do, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I mean... Like, with Flashback, you can't pay the overload, right? Yeah, no, no, okay, hold on. We're, we're, we're gonna do it slightly differently. Still gonna cast that card, but we're just gonna do it like this. We're gonna cause you to gain a life as we make a red. Thank you, that's so generous. Glad I can help. Uh, I'll play Chandra Torture Defiance. Comes in with four Planeswalker counters. I'm going to plus one her, adding two red mana to my mana pool. Gonna use that two red to play, uh, and this uh, green and this white to play Past in Flames, which when resolves causes me to play Dam, targeting. Can't target from. Oh, I can. Consecrated Sphinx. Boop. I'm gonna respond. By all means. And crew a copter. And then the Sphinx dies. And the Dam right. is exiled. Yes, Dam has been exiled. Okay. We are going to move to combat. And we'll make a Goblin Colorado Master. Yep. We'll declare all of these things attacking Nissa. Mm hmm. You are allowed to take actions before the blocker step declares. Uh, we moved I'm to that phase. I already made that, did my thing. Copter's a creature already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to block. Well, we're in the blocking phase. Okay. Uh, boom. Boom. I will block like so. Alrighty. And I have a trigger. Uh, yes, you do. I will draw a card. And then you will complete that trigger. And I'll discard a card. Why is discard not an option when I right-click a card in my hand? That's so dumb. Because you just drag it to your discard pile. It's not. I mean, I, I imagine yes. It's not a difficult task. You know, thing to accomplish. But it's different than I mean that's different than discarding. There's stuff that cares about discarding. Okay. I am good to resolve damage. I don't think there's any card that cares about it going from your hand to your graveyard if it when that doesn't it's not discarding it is synonymous with that. Anyway, uh, I will do one damage to Nissa, a goblin will die, and so will Smuggler's Copter. And so will Goblin Round Master. Goblin Rabble Master is a 4-4. Four, four. You're a 3-3. Three, three. Why did I die? Goblin Master, Rabble Master doesn't get power. Doesn't get toughness, only power. I hate this artwork. <laughs> uh... Uh... Okay. We trade. Okay. Cool. Okay. I hope that, that card, last card in your hand is a pretty good one. Otherwise you're Dobbs.
I'm dead anyway. You you buff Nissa and make a five five and attack me for eight. That's what I'm saying. Your last card better be pretty good. Oh, it's a sneak attack. Game two. Great. Let's see. What did you play last game that I saw? Man. You didn't play anything that I would want to sneak attack. You played Rafelos. You played Fast Bond. You played Crater Hoof. <laughs> Wait, why is my sideboard locked? Uh, click sideboard locked and it turns into sideboard unlocked. Hmm. Interesting. Funny how that works. Yeah. A little, okay. A little trick for me to you. Great. Weird how I have to unlock my sideboard to do any sideboard. I posted this in the first game of the match uh, locked. Oh, it doesn't know that this is. I don't know. It's listen. It doesn't not enforce game the one. Rules. It just it just <laughs> allows the rules to be, in you know, followed. Click ready to start when you're ready. Sure. Ready to start when you're ready. I'm not ready yet. Okay, okay. Let me sideboard. Eh, that's probably fine. Let's go. I will choose to play first. Uh huh. And this is the hand that will I will do it with. How did you? What was the shortcut for that again? Control M. No one else does it. I love it. And then I when I watch them draw one card individually seven times. I go. You can overshoot it, and then you have to reshuffle, which is kind of like cheating, because it's like a free mulligan, but anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, did you say that you kept? I did say that I kept. I am not going to keep. Control M! Also 7, though. Right? It's so nice. It's easy. It shuffles afterwards. It shuffles before. Okay, I think this is keepable. Let's bottom that. And let's go. Alright. Mountain. Monkey! <laughs> oh no, it's a monkey! Move dance step. Okay. I already feel like this game is going better for me. I don't care if you kill the monkey right off the bat. Just playing it already feels like I did more than last game. I'm gonna play Elf. And pass. Uh, untap. Upkeep. Draw. Main. I don't love that you have Monkey on the play here. Well, I mean, what do monkeys do when we combat? Yeah. Uh, kind of hate this. Listen, what's the worst that happens if it hits you once? Uh, I can think of a lot of bad things. If I grab Rafelos, so I can't do anything with him. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, you have Forrest. I, I, oh yeah, I did have a forest in my... Well, I only have one forest in my deck. Oh. Oops. 
gave you information. Oh, spoilers. All right. Um, I shouldn't have spoiled that sneak attack from last game, but I did. You're still in attacks. Yes. You haven't even declared your attackers. We're just in start of combat for some reason. Okay. I'd like to move to declare blockers. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that card doesn't not do what I thought it did. I'm not sure I should have kept this hand anymore. That's okay. No blocks, I'm not scared. Alright, I make a treasure. Now, here's what I need you to do. Uh, where, oh, there's a treasure. So, I fell the top card of your library. Um, I guess technically it's face up so we can both see it. It didn't, it didn't say face down, right? No. No, so you can just pull it off. Alright. So there's a Fauna Shaman that I can cast if I want. There is. All right. Uh, we're going to move to... Uh, you took two damage from the Ragavan. Yes, I... Uh, one second. Uh, uh. Land for turn will be in Dafa Trium, and I will tap the mountain and sacrifice the treasure to cast Bitter Blossom. Great. If it resolves, I'll move to end step. Sure. All right. That's exciting. I'm going to start by playing this Cobra. Reasonable. I'm going to play this Forest. And I'm going to add a green. And green added. I'm going to cast this Elf. Wow, all of your draw face? You know what? All right. Uh, all right. Uh, on the stack resolves. I pass priority. End step. You move to end step. Untap. Upkeep. Bitter Blossom trigger. Ooh. Draw. Main phase. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah. So I'll move to I'll move to combat. Yes. I'll attack with Ragaman again. Okay. Uh can we move to You're attacking in your main phase? <laughs> Thanks. Call me on it too. <laughs> Turn about spare play. Motherfucker. Alright, uh, I'd like to go to blockers. I'd like to block with a snake. Alright. So we do damage. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we'll go to second mate. Snake, I'll play... snake for monkey? Yeah, Snake for a Monkey is good. 
feel like I still want the the monkey in play though. So we'll play recurring nightmare. Sacrifice a fairy and return Ragaman to play. Oh my goodness. And step. Sure. Uh, play a forest. I have seven total mana here. Time for fellows for three. Play this Vivian. Play this Vivian here. View top one. Okay. Uh, make a beast. You beast. get to give tokens to your Vivian so we know how you got a beast. Annotation. Vigilance was harder to spell than I thought. All right, Vigilance Beast. And a smuggler's copter. Oh. And end. Untab. Upkeep. Bit of blossom trigger. Ooh. Draw. Oh. Also, mana crypt trigger. Uh, this time, we'll say that a one damages me. Ugh. But it's, yeah, I take it. Oof. And then I drew a card already. Ah. Finally, you lose, lose a flip. Sneak attack. Uh huh. Moved it and step. That's a sneak attack. Um. Yeah, and that's fine. Sneak attack passes. Not that scary. Okay, I will draw this card that I knew about. Yes. Axe. View top card. That is a card. Okay, okay. Um, so I think we are, hmm, look at my deck list. Because, um, Vivian has a s other abilities. That is technically true. So Okay. I can I think I can do some possibly filthy things here.
I'm gonna start by Oof. so many cool things I can do. Hmm. Oh god. Is there a view sideboard button? Yeah. Go up to the very top panel, cockatrice, card base. Game view. I see boom. it. Okay. Alright, yeah. I didn't fuck myself over. Awesome. Alright. We're gonna start by Korean Copter. Cool. All right, going and attacking with the copter. Drawing a card. Discarding this tireless tracker. Are you taking three or are you jump blocking with a fairy? Take three. Okay, take three. I'm gonna... Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well. I don't think I knew the spot of any cards in my library. I accidentally clicked view library instead of view top cards. What's up? This card. It okay. happens. Alright. I'm gonna play a forest. I'm gonna add four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna use Vivian's minus two. I'm going to cast this Worldly Tutor. How much mana do you have available? Eight. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, I uh, pass priority. Awesome. Is it though? I think it's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna put this... Okay, how do I do this? How do I do this kind of tutor? Do you want me to uh, temporarily put this card in my hand? Uh, put it on the battlefield, you have to reveal it, and then you just grab and click yeah, I can it just... on top of your deck. Fine, I'll just cast it with Vivian. Boom, it's cast it on. Vivian trigger. Um... It's like it's lesser mana cost. Yes. Yes. Uh. Hmm. You've now showed me a second eight mana creature in your deck. <laughs> I have, in fact. Yes. Uh. Let's just. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get Terrasa on, and then. Does that have to be one less? There could be anything. Any lesser. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put a Consecrated Sphinx also on the battlefield. And then Terracidon will trigger. And you're about to get some elephants. Aw, thanks. <laughs> this game two? Game three? This is game two. Uh, game Terracidon is going to blow yeah. up uh gonna blow up mana crypt and sneak attack and boom that's gonna give you two elephants and then one of my forests 
I'll give you an elephant. There you go. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Just, just looking out for you. Okay, pass the turn. Alright. Cool. This is what you get for leaving Rafaelis on the battlefield. Yeah. Not that. <laughs> keep drawing. Oh, I missed enough creep triggers. Oh, did you draw a card? I'm gonna draw two cards. Time for turn is prismatic vista. And move to end step. Jesus Christ, that was my turn four, wasn't it? That's a pretty good turn four. All right, I will accept your move on step, upkeep. I don't think I have any upkeep effects. No. Oh, I accidentally, fuck, I drew an extra card. Silly me. Well, I knew the top card of my library anyway, so let's just put that on top. And I crashed <laughs> again. <laughs> wow. Cartridge really does not like it when I do that. Heck. Uh... Hey, I'm back. Okay. Cool. Don't hold control when you're putting stuff on the top or bottom of your library, because that will crash cockatrice, apparently. Good to know. Yeah. Um, I'm going to add a counter to Vivian. Make another beast. This one will have reach, but I'll put it on later. Uh... Crew the copter, the new beast. Go to combat. Attack like that. Um, I have a copter trigger. Draw that card I know is there. And discard a card. Alright. Blockers? Yeah. Go ahead. Here. Block your heart out. And... <laughs> that vigilance beast is also attacking. It, has it seemed like it was. Uh, this other beast, this one, uh, this one's crewing. Oh, everything's ruined. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> right. I'm surprised you didn't say everything is ruined when you got Trastodoned. And oh, consecrated yeah, no, Sphinx on turn four. Totally inside, but I'll, but I'll, I'll play it out. I mean, <laughs> I won't say what I have as an out. Like I don't have a, my man land on the board to attack any of your Vivian. He's just gonna make a three three every turn. But he, but you know maybe I get my board wipe and I'll feel slightly less bad. Yeah, damn could be okay. All right, I'll take three damage from the smuggler's capture, kill the beast, and everything I own will die. Okay. Wait, what are you telling me? Oh, you're blocking the beast with a fairy and a monkey? Okay. So, I lose the elephant and my beast? Correct. Okay. Okay, they die. Okay. 
Second main. Play a forest. Tap her fellows. Uh, play top card. It's question two. I can't do anything to stop you because I technically have Vampiric Tutor in my hand, um, but I don't have a land in my hand. Oh, and that's that a problem, isn't it? Is the end of the match. All right, GGs, Dan. You had a good game, definitely. <laughs> my my deck, I I played I played cards. You played cards, yes. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna live on the fact that I got turn one Ragavan on the play, and it technically hit you once and gave me a very nice opening. I would have if I didn't have a. So I tanked on whether I wanted to block with the land oil or not <laughs> on the Ragavan because I didn't have another land in my hand. Oh goodness! And then you, you ended up drawing one to play the everything else. Yeah. Wow, if I hadn't exiled your top card, if you had blocked, you wouldn't have drawn a land. I would not have drawn a land, no. I kind of kept that hand because I thought Worldly Tutor could get me a land. And then I realized it couldn't. Yeah, you can't draft Worldly Tutor and have it come with an Arbor Triad Arbor. That'd be pretty cool, though. Alright, uh, I guess we can close this game first match i i lost against joe but beat dc do you finish two matches already Jeez. yeah me and dan played not that yeah. many turns but it took me a while to learn the interface when you're playing mono white you go through your games fast i see yes that would make sense natural 20. let's see if you can Nope. I'll be going first. <laughs> okay. I will keep this. I'm going to keep my hand, too. Planes. And Kithian. Sure. Pass. Oh my. I assume you're where Mana Drain ended up. No, well, maybe. You'll see it in a second what I'm doing. Forest? Yep. Fast Bond? Yep. Forest? Yep. Forest? Drop? Yep. One, yep. two, three. Augur? Yep. Do I lose? Vivian. Wait, where did... Oh, no. Whoops. That's... I accidentally put that into play from the top of my library. Oh. <laughs> um, I guess I should put that back, huh? Yeah. Okay, I will do that. Um... Okay. You weren't supposed to know it's on top of my library, but now you do. That's fine, though. I That's end. Fine. That's it. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's it. Planes. One. Two. Uh, winter Orb. Blah. Attack for two. Are you sure you want to do that? My auger was accidentally tapped, but it is a 2-3. Oh. Okay, no, I will, uh, I'll pass. Fair enough. Winter Orb, huh? That's gonna make things a little annoying. Uh, you got fast spawned. It's true. Yeah. Hopefully I can go off with this auger in this fast bond. Mm-hmm. View one card at a time. I see, I see. Is card? Yes. Alright. Is not land card, though. 
end. Classic winter orb shit. James, I ended. Yep. Oh, yeah, is no, I'm here. You good? Yeah, I went to end step. Oh, okay. You can press pass. Oh, oh yeah, well, we'll have that tapped. Uh, and pass to you. Oh, you don't have a land drop either. Oh, shit. Yep. I might lose. Well, so far, this auger is not treating me very well. Just kidding. Well, that's one land off the top. Okay. That. And, okay. This is worth it, though. Also, I forgot to mention all my lands are snow. Okay, sure. I'll play this for fellows. And, and. Draw. Hmm. Let me see. I'm going to concede here. That's fine. That's probably fair. <laughs> I'll uh, go first again. Come on, do a little bit of sideboarding. Wait, what? Hold on, I did that wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I'll keep. I'm also going to keep. Turn one. Mother of runes, go. Oh, that's pretty good. We'll play this for us. Fast bond on turn one again? No. Play this once upon a time, though. Mm. Quite a good card. Yes, it is. I'm gonna get this Draga Tree Speaker and cast it. Yep. My turn? Mm hmm. Draw. Uh, I'll pay two to play Umazawa's Jite and pass. <laughs> Hate that. That was my first pick. That Most... is truly outrageous and horrifying. I mean, it was between that and Mana Drain, and I thought that I could more likely get the archetype pieces for Jite. Because more people were more likely in blue than white. Was the reasoning. <laughs> All right, Forest. Yep. You 
Utopia Sprawl on this other forest named Blue. Yep. Tap. Level up. Mm hmm. Tap. And this sucks so much. This Jute on the play. I'm terrified. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, that's a one two. This is... Still kills all of the my creatures. Uh, you're... What are you tapping the speaker for? I'm thinking. Hmm. I'm sad, but I'm thinking. <laughs> I think I'm gonna play. Just a line of word else. Let's see. Untap. Upkeep. Let's see. We'll play a planes. Yes. Oh, shit. Okay. I thought for sure I was going to get owned by GTA. Didn't even equip. What could this be? Some three mana instant and mono white. Okay. Well. I'm going to play this Karakis. Yep. And Trap, tap, ah. <laughs> tap tree speaker. Yep. Cast Roth, Roth Lopes. Yep. And tap the sprawl. Oh, gosh. Um, no, 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 no. Add a green counter. And then I actually need to power toughness. Increase toughness. I should have done that last turn. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I'll end my turn. At the end of your turn, I will flash in Avon Mind Sensor. Ah, that's what she's holding up the manas for. Okay. Sure. My turn? Mm-hmm. Draw. Uh, now I'll equip the GTA to the Mind Sensor. Sure. Attack for two? Yep. Uh, remove I take the two. Add the counters. I'll remove the counters to kill your two elves. Okay, so you're, you're moving... I have three elves. Uh, excuse me, to kill Rothlos and Llanowar elves? Okay, Llanowar elves is gonna die. And I'm gonna Caracas or Fellows. Okay. And I will... Pass the turn to you. Great. That's kind of what I wanted. Three, four, five, six. I'm going to tap six. Mm hmm. 
Cast this Consecrated Sphinx. Yep. And end my turn. Alright. Draw. I'll play. I will plane. draw two cards with you. Yep. Let me see. I will. Force you to tap that Caracas. I'll pay three to play uh, Thalia Heretic Cathar. Sure. Pass. Uh, in a turn, I'll bounce with Thalia. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, I'm going to start by tapping this. Cast Lotus Cobra. Yep. Play a forest. Add a green. Play Fast Bond. Play another forest. Taking yep. one. Adding a uh, blue. Uh, two, five, six, seven. What we got here? An Ulamog? No, only eight mana. If you have mana tithe, you. Got me pretty good here. Here's a Trasodon. Uh, okay. I will concede, I think. That's probably fair. Because I can give my Avon Mind Sensor protection, but it's not going to stop the Onslaught. No. I'm going to kill your Jute And... I think a couple... Kill Jitae, sure. Fast Bond, Forest. Yeah, I lose. <laughs> okay. You I lose, James. I think. Um, I'll give me a turn. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna take another turn. Um, There's no you're... point in attacking, so go ahead. Uh, yeah, now I'll concede. Okay. Alright. GG's. GG's. See why it... Uh... <laughs> It's that fast. went way faster than my first match. Yeah. I mean, it, it happens when you're playing against an aggressive deck. I don't know if you saw, but in game two against Dan, on turn four, I cast Terracidon after minus twoing Vivian, and I got Terracidon Consecrated Sphinx on turn four. Yeah, that sounds about right. 